guys? Welcome to Serum Triple Brand New Video for you guys. Anthony, we're back with a new multi language reaction video. This one's gonna be from Shrek. Um, I feel like it's kind of been long overdue for another Shrek uh, reaction video, but I got a few clips to do for y'all. Um, I believe it's kind of like a mix of all three films. I didn't just pick Shrek 2, like the last one. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see. Uh, how it is and first we got Pinocchio lies in 16 different languages I think this is from the third film and yeah we'll get right into it <laughs> so you do know where he is on the contrary the questioning I'm possibly Pinocchio. more or less not definitely rejecting the idea that in no way with any amount of uncertainty that I undeniably Stop do it. or do not know where he should <laughs> probably be if that indeed wasn't where he isn't even if he wasn't not where I knew he was huh? I like how he's not even like hiding it. Bring back the next year. Oh. Du weißt also, wo er ist. You know, I feel like Shrek 3 gets a bit too much hate. Like, yeah, the movie's not as good as the first and second, but I still think it has a few good moments. Um, Okay, so, yeah. The German fits Pinocchio very well, I will say. You know, I will say that I... I didn't think that the German dub, I feel like it actually does fit the Shrek films very well, especially since a lot of the fairy tales have like that kind of background and history, right? So it's actually very interesting to think about. Italian I love that um in the Italian Gingy singing is like very it's like very comedic compared to the other versions. <laughs> Freaking uh, Jinji singing, I swear. But I will say that Pinocchio got better at hiding uh, the truth in this film compared to the past films. Yani nerede olduğunu biliyorsun. Ah, tam tersi. Aslında bu görüşe tam olarak katılmadığımı söyleyebilirim. Bu nedenle kesin olarak veya kısmen reddetmem durumunda ben olmaması gerektiğini It sounds like he's like kind of like slurring the words in this one. Ama tabii eğer orada değilsen başka bir şey yapabilirsin. Şirek tahta yeni var seni getirmeye gitti. Entonces sabes onde ele está. And you know, I will say that I'm wondering if Pinocchio never, well, if the pigs never interrupted him, just how long was he going to keep on going? Because it seems like he was going to be talking forever, pretty much. He didn't have like a stopping point. So that's like insane. <laughs> okay, that's one of my favorite ones. I love the way it sounded. Oh. 
Okay, this one's not bad. I like that one. The Russian is not bad. अगर सच पूछे तो शायद पक्के तौर पर मैं इस बात को नहीं कह सकता कि मुझे मालूम है या नहीं है मालूम करने का रास्ता भी यही है चुप हो जाओ उसे कहाँ होना चाहिए या कहाँ नहीं और वो वाकई वहाँ नहीं है जहाँ होना चाहिए था अगर वो वहाँ नहीं है जहाँ मुझे मालूम था कि वो इसका मतलब है कि मुझे Okay, the Hindi one's not bad. His voice sounded pretty, pretty good. It really sounds like he's rambling in this one. <laughs> Então sabe onde está? Pelo contrário, acho que eu estou mais ou menos não rejeitando de vez a ideia. Que de jeito nenhum, com algum grau de incerteza, inegavelmente sei ou não sei onde ele provavelmente não está. Se lá não fosse mesmo onde ele não está, mesmo ele não estando onde eu saiba que não. Não gostava como. O Shrek partiu para buscar um novo herdeiro. Okay, ah, that's a tough one because I like the I like the European Portuguese, but this one sounds pretty good too. It's tough for me if I, like which one I would pick actually. A víš kde to je? V tom je právě ten háček. Já mohu více méně potvrdit, že bude na místě, kde má být. A současně odmítám tvrzení, že bych se snažil popřít, že na tom místě, kde je, není, protože tam pravděpodobně je. Okay. Was hat er denn gesagt? Nein, ich kann das nicht. Powiedz mir, że mogę z umiarkowaną stanowczością zaprzeczyć twierdzeniu, że w taki czy inny sposób zatajam informacje o faktach wskazujących na miejsce, w którym jest, albo go nie ma. Chyba, że nie byłby tam, gdzie go nie ma. Bo gdybym twierdził, że nie ma go tam, gdzie jest, to nie byłbym zaprzeczyć, że nie ma go tam. Szlops! Szrek pojechał po kogoś, kto zasiądzie na tronie! Okay, it's Polish. It's not bad either. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. Okay, I will already say Croatian is probably one of the better ones because his voice actually sounds very close to how his English voice actor sounds. So I already got to put that above the other ones just because I think this is like probably one of the closest sounding ones to the English actually. Okay, <laughs> that was pretty good actually. I like that. His voice in the Hungarian sounded very different, but I actually think it did fit for the scene too, so... It's not bad. Okay. Pravděpodobně věc či méně jiný je. Určitě odměta myšlínku bez zakejkovelek stopí pochybnosti, že by som nepopíratelně mal či nemal vědět, kde by pravděpodobně Šrek nemal být. A kde je tam, kde on nie je. Keby aj nebol tam, kde vím, že bol, mohlo by to znamenat, že na to... Ale tak, prestaň. Šrek išiel hledat ďalšího nástupcu. Alright. Oh, man. Ok, that was... That was good, actually. I will say my favorite ones probably were the 
Hungarian wasn't bad, so I'm gonna put Hungarian in there. But I think the other ones I liked were the the Croatian, Spanish, Portuguese. I think both Portuguese were really good for this one, actually. Um, the German was solid as well. So I think those are my personal favorites for that one. But uh, yeah, I, uh, saying that, we'll go on to the next one. I will say though, Shrek Three. It's not a bad film. Obviously, it's not like that good either but i feel like it's probably the pacing that ruined the movie in general the jokes were actually they still hit pretty good so all right for the next one we have shrek is called giant muted leprechaun in 16 languages i think this one is from the third film too actually but i'm not entirely sure because i don't really remember this scene too well so um let's see greetings your majesty this is your lucky day so what for like are you supposed to be? Some kind of giant mutant leprechaun or something? <laughs> oh, 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 you made it funny. So I I think this is from the, the third film. Sag, wie tust eure Majestät? Heute ist euer Glückstag. Und uh, was mögest du jetzt darstellen, Fremder? Bist du so eine Art mutierter Riesenkobold oder was? <laughs> mutierter Riesenkobold? Der war echt gut. But you know what I do like about this one is that they do the laugh differently. Like, you know, some of these scenes they would just copy and paste the English laugh, but I actually like that they have the, the laugh. As Sei well. qui, vostra maestà. È il tuo giorno fortunato. E tu cosa tipo dovresti essere? Sentiamo, una specie di gigantesco gnomo mutante o che altro? <laughs> gigantesco gnomo mutante. Che battuta. It's like some of these are really like sarcastic. Albricias, maestà. Es vuestro día de suerte. O sea, ¿qué cosa se supone que eres? ¿Un gnomo o un duende que ha mutado en una masa gorda y verde? Oh, oh, oh. En una masa gorda y verde. Muy simpático. Fat and green. That's what it says. That's what it says, I believe. Bugün şanslı gününüz. Söyler misin? Nesin sen? Bana gönderilmiş mutant dev bir cin mi? Yoksa şans perisi mi? Şans perisi mi? Sen ne komikmişsin? Saudações, Vossa Majestade. Hoje é o vosso dia de sorte. Então, e conta lá o que é que tu és? Uma rã mutante gigante ou coisa assim? Rã <laughs> mutante gigante. Vizeres uma gazola. But you know what I do find interesting is they, they do change it a bit. Um, like most of them are saying, you know, giant mutant leprechaun, but some of them are saying it a little bit different in the context of that specific language. Um, especially with like, you know, the Spanish one. Гигантский гоблин мутант, леприкон или типа того. Гигантский мутант, шутник ты однако. Пусти меня. Махарачки джайху. Аж ка дэн апке ли бахат шубхе. То кя хуа, тум кя хо, кой бхут хо, прет хо, я джин. Я пир кой ор бади бала. Кой ор бади бала. Я ча мазак та. Окей, это не бад, это не бад. Пизя, сегодня это не бад, это не бад. 请问你是什么东西啊？变种人、妖怪、大恐龙，还是绿巨人好呆呀、啊？<笑>绿巨人好呆，好冷的笑话。<笑> OK。好大声，麦杰斯达吉，今天是你的运气。卡拉姆巴，但是什么人是你？不可能是一个混合的木头人和巨人。哈哈哈哈哈哈！木头人，这是真的。Okay, that that was different from the Portugal uh, Portuguese. It is a bit different. Um, so yeah, that was that was pretty interesting actually. Zdravíčko, veličenstvo. Dneska máte šťastný den. A ty seš jako kdo? Podjobaný obří mutant? Nebo nějaká reklama na obezitu? Ho, 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 podjobaný mutant. Děsně vtipný. Žálem, vaša vysokost. To tvůj šťastný den. Przepraszam, a od kiedy to ja jestem na ty z jakimś spasionym zielonym mutantem, bo zapomniałem. Spasiony mutant. Bardzo śmieszny jest. Okej, bądź. To jest nabę. To jest wasz srytandan. A koi by sad ty trzeba obity? Neki dywowski mutant tintilinic, il tak što? Dywowski mutant. A ja jest wizard. Widzę zle twoje szyk. Serenčiš na podvan? 
Hát te meg miféle szerzet lennél? Valamiféle óriás mutás kobold, vagy ilyesmi? Óriás mutás I love the laugh in the Hungarian one. That was really good. Nézzé vás, just need any. Co má toto znamenat? Je to snad nějaký obrovský zmutovaný škriatok? <laughs> zmutovaný škriatok? A uzaj vtipné. A vy, ta majesty, c'est ton jour de chance. Oh, le morceau, eh, c'est quoi comme croisement cet animal? Un farfait des moisis et un chou de Bruxelles au GMIZ? <laughs> un chou de Bruxelles, eh oh, Il a mangé un bouffon? <laughs> All right, that was, that was good. That was really good, actually. It's like I'm shocked that the dubbing is actually really solid for like all of these. Like I haven't really found one so far that I'm like, ah, uh, it's not that good or like, no, they all sound like pretty solid, I would say. So pretty surprised. <laughs> but yeah, saying that, let's get right into the next one. All right, for this next one, we got, um, well, the titles in Spanish is Los Ogres Son Como Las Cebollas, which means ogres are like onions. This is from the first film. I remember this scene. It's like pretty iconic when Shrek is explaining to Donkey that ogres are like layers and like all that, all that good stuff. So. I'm on my way from Mesolita, happiness to be. Uh, no, not really, no. All right, we got For the English one. For your information, one. there's a lot more to ogres than people think. Example? Example? Okay, um, ogres are like onions. <laughs> They stink? Yes. No. Oh, they make you cry? No. <laughs> oh, you leave them out in the sun, they get all brown, start sprouting little white hairs. No. Layers. Onions. But you know, okay, like, let me pause real for a second. Like, this doesn't have to do with the multilanguage, but it's just crazy, like, looking back at Shrek 1. It is insane how well this film aged. Like, look at the CGI of these characters. Like, it's absolutely insane. This movie was made in, like, what, 2001 or 2000? And, like, like it's consistent because, like, you know, Shrek 1, Shrek 2, Shrek 3, they all look almost pretty much identical in terms of CGI. It's really only, like, I don't know, like, Puss in Boots 2 that I would say the animation got, like, a huge upgrade. But for the most part, the, the film's pretty consistent. And I just find that really interesting considering the fact that the film is very old. So layers. Ogres that's just, that's have layers. Wild. Onions have layers. You get it. We both have layers. <sighs> oh, you both have layers. Oh. You know, not everybody like onions. <laughs> cake. Everybody loves cakes. Cakes have layers. I don't care what everyone likes. Ogres are not like cakes. Oof, rip donkey. You know what else everybody like? Parfait. Have you ever met a person you say, hey, let's get some parfait. They say, hell no, I don't like no parfait. Parfaits are delicious. No! That's <laughs> irritating miniature beast of burden. Ogres are like onions. End of story. Bye-bye. See you later. Um, no, I got Mexican no. Spanish. Para tu información, los ogros somos muy diferentes a lo que creen. Ejemplo? Ejemplo, de acuerdo a... Um, los ogros son como cebollas. ¿Apestan? Sí. No. ¿O te hacen llorar? <ríe> no. Ya sé. Si los dejas al sol, se ponen cafés y les salen pelitos blancos. No, capas. Las cebollas tienen capas. Los ogros tienen capas. Las cebollas las tienen. ¿Entiendes? Ambos tenemos capas. Ah. Oh, ambos tienen capas. Oh. Pero no a todos les gustan las cebollas. Pasteles, a todos les gusta el pastel okay, y los good. hacen con like capa. A mí me vale lo que le guste like, a todos. Care. Los ogros no son pasteles. ¿Qué tal un helado napolitano? Tiene capas de sabores. A todos les gusta. No conozco a nadie que no le encante el helado napolitano. ¡No! Ya cállate, irritante mini bestia de carga. Los ogros son igual que las cebollas y se acabó. Hasta la vista. Ahí te ves. <laughs> okay, that was good. I uh, like that. No, acho legal, no. Para su información, a más do que se imagina no zoo. Exemplo? Exemplo? Ok. Uh, nós somos como cebolas. Hmm. Fed. 
that's very interesting i have to say that um mexican spanish the voice of shrek sounds very very similar to the english one and then you listen to this and it is the voice is much much deeper so no. I, don't know, I just no. found that, that pretty ah, interesting as well. sol, no camadas as cebolas têm camadas. Os ogros têm camadas. A cebola tem camadas. Entendeu? Nós dois temos camadas. <risos> oh, <risos> vocês dois têm camadas? Oh. Sabe, nem todo mundo gosta de cebola. Bolo! Todo mundo adora bolo e tem camadas. Eu não nego para o que todo mundo gosta. Ogros não são como bolos. Sabe do que todo mundo gosta? Pavê. Já conheceu alguém que você falasse, Ei, vamos comer pavê? E ele disse, certo, céus, não gosto de pavê. Pavê é delicioso. Não! Sua besta ambulante de irritação constante. Os ogros não são como a cebola. Fim da história. Bye, bye. <risos> Chauzinho. <risos> I like that they even, like, mixed in a little bit of that uh, Brazilian, like, slang. So, oh man, I like that a lot. Like, even though it doesn't sound like the English one, it's not bad um, for that instance. So. Un ogro es más complejo de lo que la gente cree. Like Spain. Ponme un ejemplo. Un ejemplo? De acuerdo. Mm, un ogro es... Como una cebolla. Apesta. Sí. No, te hacen llorar. No. Ah, si las pones al sol se vuelven marrones y les salen pelitos blancos. No, las capas. Las cebollas tienen capas. Los ogros tenemos capas. Las cebollas tienen capas. Lo captas, los dos tenemos capas. ¡Ah! <risa> oh, con que tenéis capas. Mm. Las cebollas no gustan a todos. ¡Tarta! ¡A la gente le gusta la tarta! ¡Y tienen capas! ¡Me importa un pito! Lo que le gusta <risa> los ogros. Oh my god. No okay. Como las tartas. <risa> That's great. <risa> También hay pastelitos que tienen capas. ¿Tú sabes de alguien que si le dices, tío, nos comemos unos pasteles, diga paso, no me gustan? Los pasteles mulan. ¡No! Pedazo de cacho, de trozo de mula, miniatura. Oh, yeah, he sounds really irritated Los ogros this somos one, como actually. las cebollas. Se acabó el asunto. Bye, bye. Hasta luego. That was very interesting because, um... It's like Shrek's voice sounds a bit different, right, compared to the Mexican Spanish. I would say Mexican Spanish is a bit closer to the original, but I like the way the dialogue was in the Castilian a bit more. So, ogres têm muito mais que se lhes diga do que as pessoas pensam. Por exemplo, exemplo, ok, uh, os ogres são como cebolas. Cheiram mal? Sim. Não. Oh, fazer me chorar. <risos> Não. Oh, se as deixarmos ao sol escurece e começam a perder a casca. Não, camadas, cebolas têm camadas, ogres têm camadas, cebolas têm camadas, percebes? Ambos temos camadas. Oh, oh têm camadas. Ah. Yeah. Nem toda a gente gosta de cebolas. Tarte. Toda a gente adora tartes, as tartes têm camadas. Quero lá saber do que é que os outros gostam. Oh, yeah, he's, he's os ogres this. não são como tartes. <risos> Sabes do que é que toda a gente gosta de lampreia? Se perguntares a alguém, é, hey, queres lampreia de ovos? Ninguém te responde. Lampreia, não gosto, não gosto de lampreia. Okay. Lampreia de ovos é ótimo. Não! Sua miniatura de besta de carga irritante e teimosa. Os ogres são como cebolas e acabou-se. Bye, bye. Adeus. Oh, man, it's tough now. It's tough. I'm, like, trying to, like, kind of rank it because it, the European Portuguese was pretty good, too. It's, like... That was, I don't know, it's actually pretty tough. I like both versions though. The Brazilian and the Portuguese are really solid. And I, I say the voices were pretty similar as well. Perquè ho sàpigues, els ogres són molt més profunds del que es pensa la gent. Per exemple? Un exemple? D'acord, um... Els ogres són com les cebes. T'ofeixen? Sí, no! Oh, et fan plorar! No! Oh, quan els deixes al sol es tornen marrons i els hi surt borrissol. No! Capes! Les cebes tenen capes. Els ogres tenim capes, igual que les cebes. Queda clar, també tenim capes. <laughs> oh, també teniu capes. I love how irritated he sounds in this one. Però no agraden pas a tothom. 
Ei, tortells! Agraden a tothom i tenen capes. Tant me fa. El que li agradi a l'altra gent. Els ogres no són tortells. Saps què agrada a tothom? Els pastissos. Coneixes algú que li diguis Ei, ens mengem un pastís i contesti No, no el suporto. Són deliciosos. No! Ets la bèstia de càrrega més carregosa que he vist mai. Els ogres són com les cebes i no se'n parli més. Passi-ho bé. Passi-ho bé. Ok, that was good, too. It's interesting because I know Catalan is a dialect, right? I believe it's a dialect of Spain... Right? I believe so. But I would say it's the one I understand the least, actually. Um, out of everything else I've heard so far. Because I understand Castilian Spanish. I understand, you know, Latin American, European Portuguese, Brazilian Portuguese. But the Catalan, it's a bit confusing for me. Because I was getting a bits and pieces of it. But it's not like I was understanding the full um, language itself. So... I don't know, it's very, it's just pretty interesting for me. Ta gouverne, y'a bien plus à dire sur les ogres que ce qu'on en dit déjà. Exemple Exemple. Bon, attends. Regarde, française. Les ogres sont... Comme les oignons. Ils chlèvent Oui. Non. Oh, ils piquent les yeux Non. Ah, ils se font sauter. On les couche sur une patte brisée et on enfourne la pisse à la dière Non, ils ont des couches. Oignons avoir couche ogre avoir couche, couche comme oignon <laughs> avoir couche <laughs> tous les deux ont des couches et toi t'en tiens une oh man he sounds pissed oh les deux ont des couches et toi tu en tiens une oh oh yeah that french one's good l'ennui c'est qu'il y a personne qui aime les oignons les gâteaux tout le monde en raffole des gâteaux il y a plein de gâteaux qui on s'en fiche que tout le monde raffole des gâteaux nous les ogres on n'est pas du gâteau Tu sais ce que tout le monde aime Le clafoutis. T'as déjà rencontré quelqu'un qui tu dis « Fais péter le clafoutis » et qui te dit « J'aime pas le clafoutis ». Le clafoutis, c'est exquis. Non Bourricot de crétin d'avorton d'âne batté les os C'est comme les oignons. Fin du coup. Bye bye. Man. À la voyure. That man Shrek exploded on Donkey. <laughs> okay, that was... That was really good. Um, I would say he probably sounds the angriest so far in French. Uh, no, non direi, no. Per tua informazione, gli orchi hanno dentro più cose di quanto uno crede. Per esempio? Per esempio? Va bene. Uh, gli orchi sono come le cipolle. Puzzano? Sì. No. Ah, ti fanno piangere? No. Ah, li lasci al sole, diventano marroni e poi spuntano i peletti bianchi? No. Strati. Le strati. cipolle hanno okay. gli strati. Gli orchi hanno gli strati. Le cipolle hanno gli strati. Capito? Tutti e due abbiamo gli strati. <ride> ah, tutti e due avete gli strati. Ah. Uh, sai, non a tutti piacciono le cipolle. Torte! A tutti piacciono le cipolle. torte, le torte hanno gli strati. Non mi interessa che cosa piace a tutti. Gli orchi non sono come le torte. Sai cos'altro piace a tutti? Le lasagne. Hai mai conosciuto qualcuno a cui dici Ehi, hey, prendiamo le lasagne e lui risponde Non mi piacciono lasagne? le lasagne. Le lasagne, sono lasagne. No! lasagne. Ottusa, irritante, bestia da soma in miniatura. Gli orchi sono come le cipolle. Fine della storia. Baci, baci. Baci, baci. <laughs> ok, va bene, va bene. Beh, ho scattato I giganti sono molto diversi da questo che ho visto il cosmo. Quindi? Eh, come... Opos, eh, i gigantes είναι σαν κρεμμύδια. Φρομάνε. Ναι. Oh, σε κάνουν να κλαις. Όχι. Oh, <laughs> τα αφήνεις τον ήλιο, μαυρίζουν και βγάζουν άσπρες τριχούλες. Όχι, oh, επίπεδα. <laughs> τα κρεμμύδια <laughs> έχουν επίπεδα. Οι γίγαντες έχουν επίπεδα, σαν τα κρεμμύδια. <laughs> Το πιάσες, έχουμε επίπεδα. Επίπεδα. Α, και οι δύο έχετε επίπεδα. Μα τα κρεμμύδια δεν αρέσουν σε όλους. Κέικ! Αλλά το κέικ αρέσει! Και έχει και επίπεδα! Okay, δεν με νοιάζει! Yeah, Τι αρέσει στον καθένα! Οι γίγαντες δεν είναι σαν κέικ! I didn't think it was gonna be the same word as the English one, cake. Ξέρεις yeah. τι άλλο αρέσει? Το παρφέ! Είδες ποτέ κανένα να του λες θέλεις παρφέ It's και εκείνος να λέει Μπα, δεν κουστάρω παρφέ! Το παρφέ είναι πρώτο! Όχι! Ανόητο ενοχλητικό <laughs> μούλαρο γάιδρο! Οι γίγαντες είναι σαν τα κρεμμύδια. Πάει και τελείωσε. Bye bye. 
ったね。You know, I almost feel like a part of it is like the languages are competing to see which one can make Shrek sound more pissed off. And it's like, I don't know, it just makes it really funny to me. Uh, nicht direkt, nein, man. Zu deiner Information. Oga oh haben gosh, sehr viele Leute, die sich nicht mehr so gut sehen. Zum Beispiel? Okay, ähm. Um, Oga sind wir äh, Zwiebeln. Sie stinken? Ja. Nein. Sie bringen einen zum Wein? Nein. Ach so, wenn Sie in der Sonne trocknen, werden Sie braun und weiße Hirchen fangen an zu sprießen. Nein. Schichten. Zwiebeln haben Schichten. Oga haben Schichten, genau wie Zwiebeln. Verstehst du? Wir beide haben Schichten. Oh, oh ihr beide habt Schichten. Na toll. Aber Zwiebeln sind nicht jedermanns Sache. Torten. Alle Welt liebt Torten und die haben auch Schichten. Es ist mir egal. Was alle Welt mag, Oga sind nicht wie Torten. Äh, weißt du, was sonst noch beliebt ist? Parfaits. Hast du schon mal zu jemandem gesagt, hey, holen wir uns ein paar leckere Parfaits? Und der antwortet, ich mag keine Parfaits. Parfaits sind köstlich. Nein! Du unterbelichter des Begriffsstutzigers Miniatur, lass dir! Oga sind wie Zwiebeln. Ende der Durchsage. Bye, bye. Man sieht sich. Yo! Okay, I was, I was expecting something, because... Honestly, he wasn't as angry as I thought it would be. It sounded more like he was irritated than angry. Um, especially when you compare it to the French one. I feel like the French one, he was a bit more like pissed off. But that explosion at the end caught me off guard. So, I was like, oh, Sam. Uh, yeah, tak się składa, że ogry mają mnóstwo cego, których nikt nie wie. Jak choćby? Jak choćby? To proszę, a... Ogry są jego jak cebula. Śmierdzą? Tak. Nie. Bo się od nich płacze. Nie. A jak się jest dostępny? You know, I didn't think that the Polski, the Polish version, was gonna actually say cebola. Because, I mean, a lot of Latin-based languages say that. So I thought that it was gonna have a different word for it. That was interesting, actually. Like, I kind of learned something new there. W słońcu to robią się brązowe i rosną im włoski? Nie! Warstwy! Cebula ma warstwy! Ogry mają warstwy! Cebula ma warstwy? Dociera! Ogry mają warstwy! A. No, więc ogry mają warstwy! Wiesz, nie wszyscy lubią cebulę. Tort! Wszyscy lubią tort! Tort ma warstwy! I co z tego? Nie obchodzą mnie wszyscy. Ogry nie są. Jak tort. Wiesz, co jeszcze wszyscy lubią? Kremówki. Znasz kogoś, to jak mu powiesz, ej, chodźmy na kremówki, to mówi, nie, stary, nie lubię kremówek. Kremówki są byka. Nie! Ty tępy, irytujący, kłapołuchy gaduło. Ogry są jak cebula. Koniec kwestii. Papa. Pa, pa. <laughs> that was good. I love that one. Um, again, that caught me off guard. I didn't think it was going to sound like that, actually. <laughs> Uh, nem igazán, nem. Csak hogy tud, az ogrékban sokkal több van ám, mint hiszik. Például? Például? Az ogrék uh, olyanok, mint a hagyma. Büdöse? Uh -huh. Nem. Megrikatnak. Nem. Á, ha a napon hagyod őket, de barnulnak és fehér szőrük lesz. Nem, a rétegek. A hagyma több rétegű. Az ogre több rétegű, ahogy a hagyma. Érted már? Több rétegűek vagyunk! Ó, oh. ah, több rétegűek! Oh. A hagymát nem mindenki szereti. Torta! Azt mindenki szereti! Az is réteges! Nem érdekel! Mit szeret mindenki? Az ugre nem olyan, mint a torta! Tudod, mit szeretnek még? A párfét. Találkoztál olyannal, akinek azt mondtad, együnk egy kis párfét, és azt mondta, nem, mutálom a párfét. A párfét isteni? Nem! Te együtti, bosszantó kis igafonó barom! Az ógre, mint a hagyma! Itt a vége! Viszlát! Halászolgálja! I would definitely say this one sounds a bit more on the irritated side. He doesn't sound as angry, um, especially compared to the other ones we've heard. I would say it's a bit more on the irritated. Ää, ehkä se ei olisi ollut. Jätit on kuule ihan toista maata kuin mitä yleisesti luullaan. Niin kuin esim. No vaikkapa... No tuota... Jätit ovat kuin sipulit. Nedefää? Joo, ei kun... Ne itkettää. 
Ei ku! Joo, kun ei jätä Eiku. aurinkoa, niin ne turkeskeet karmasiks. Ei kun kerrokset! Sipulissa on kerrokset. Jätissä on kerrokset, kuten sipulissa. Hoksatko, meissä on kerroksia? Äh. Ai, teissä on kerroksia. Ah. <tuh> Mutta kaikki ei dikkaa sipulista. Kakut! Kaikki dikkaa niistä, niissä on kerroksia. Viis minä siitä! Sen kun sitten dikkaa. Jätit ei ole kakkuja. Kakkuja. Tiedätkö, mistä kaikki dikkaa? Parfeesta. Oletko koskaan tavannut sälliä, joka sanoo parfeille, että ei helkkari, mä en tykkää parfeesta. Kato, parfeet on nannaa. Usko! Typerä jukuripää vähän läntä kantturo. Jätit on kuin sipulit. Sillä sipuli. Näkemiin. Näkemiin <laughs> Okay, that was, that was good. That was good. You know, I didn't think that um, parfait and onions were a pretty universal word. I feel like a lot of these languages actually said it or said something that sounded similar to it. So that was actually very interesting. Um, but yeah, I like this one a lot. A lot of these actually sounded very solid. Um, the voice sounded very close to the original as well. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> But saying that, that's going to be it for this video. Um, let me know what you guys thought about it down in the comment section below if you guys like this. I know that Shrek was one of my more watched videos. And so I decided to do a follow up for it for that reason. But um, like, you know, if you guys like it a lot, um, if you guys show like that response, I gladly do another one for y'all. Um, if you guys have any other recommendations, please leave it in the comment section below saying that Click subscribe to always keep an update of when I upload. Click that bell for notifications. And saying that, I'll catch you guys in the next video, right? Peace out.